Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make these cute little treat bag holders. And I'll show you the two different sizes. Let's get started making this cute little treat bag. I'm going to be showing the two sizes today primarily so that you have a choice in the cello bags that you use. You can either use the four by six cello bags, which um, would fit the smaller size, or if you wanted a little more treat in your bag, um, use the gusseted um, cello bags. And then each of them need just a slightly different size. So for the smaller size, the cardstock is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And with the smaller size, you can get two treat bags out of one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. The larger one is five and a quarter by 11. Both of these are scored at four and a half and six and a half, and I've already got that done ahead of time using my Simply Scored scoring tool. You can also use your um, stamp and trimmer and just use the score blade. So basically, that's the template <laughs> of the treat holder that's going to surround the cello bag. Um, and now it's time to do a little decoration. And on both of these, I've used the two inch circle punch to punch out, um, I guess, a little peephole so that the recipient can see what it is that they're receiving. And so whatever side is your front, again, using the two inch circle punch, just come in wherever you'd like. I put it in so that the neck is all the way through and punch. That looks about where I want it. Maybe about an inch from your score line. And again, it really won't matter. Just wherever you'd like to have the hole um, so that they can see what's in your treat. Next, we want to take some designer paper. This is from the 2014 catalog called Mo Motley Monsters. Such a cute little Halloween pattern. And for the small, this is cut at four by four and a quarter. And the larger one is cut, the designer paper is cut at five by four and a quarter. And you'll need two sheets of each. And again, this is gonna be for the front of it and then a panel for the back side. And I've already got some of these done ahead of time. So what we wanna do is go ahead and put adhesive, I'm using Tombow Multi-Purpose Glue, just on the outside of the designer paper because we don't want any adhesive on the area where we're going to re-punch out the hole. So in order to get that hole, what we'll do is we'll turn, put the designer paper on first and then come in from the back side, line up our punch, and punch again. The punches um, have a hard time going through more than two layers, and so if you punch out the hole first, cover your designer paper, then you'll be all set. <laughs> so I, I said it's so super quick and easy. Next, what I did is I took our, oh, and then we'll do it the same, same way with our larger one. Come in and get that punched. Alrighty, so with the cello, cello bags, I did trim this down to four inches, both sides. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use snail adhesive but you'll really want to use um, a strong adhesive like sticky strip to put this down just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm going to make sure I, I'm on the top. Here's the top of it. Wanting to make sure it goes the right way. And I'm going to run, again you would put your sticky strip on it, but I'm going to put some snail adhesive on it, line up the bottom, with the score line just right above it. And then again, come in with the snail adhesive. Again, you would put some sticky strip down. The snail adhesive doesn't like to go on the on that cello bag very well. And then line up your top and 
squeeze that together. And then when you open it up, the cello bag is there. The small one's just enough for some li a little treat. So got some candy corn flavored or colored M&Ms and you know just fill it in Oops. with a few however many you want and that one's done. So let's do the larger one. Well, since my snail was having so much problem, I went ahead and let's do show what the, you know, the sticky strip looks like. So I put a piece of sticky strip on either side of the gusseted bag. And again, you would do the same thing with the smaller cello bag. I'm going to take off the, um, you know, the sticky strip on one side, line up the bottom of the bag, put that down. Oh, so much better with the gusseted or with the cello bags to use the red line tape. Oops, get that down. Peel off the other side. And what we want to do is line up the top so that the top is even. Press that down. And so, cute! I personally like the gusseted bags simply because I like filling up a little more treats, I guess. And again, you can come in with whatever you like to give your the recipients. And how cute is that? Cute, cute, cute. Then what's left is to just um, oh, I guess you know, make a tie on. On your top, you can use a standard office staple or hole punch. This is a fourth of an inch hole punch, and get your um, get your top of it punched. If yours will go through um, all the layers, great. You know, if not, you can just go ahead and punch you know the holes independently. And then I'm all about making these little pom poms right now, and I do have a video on how to do that. But oh my gosh. You know, you can put ribbon or whatever kind of fun little things that you would like to tie up your gift bag. I'll just do one of these, but you know, you get, you get the idea. So after you have it tied, if you want, you can add, you know, a sentiment to the top. I'm using Mary Everything, good to the last bite, the little um, Dracula, the little... <laughs> Him. He's a little vampire. He's so cute. And um, Mary Everything has is a stamp set that has a coordinating punch with it. And the punch is called the note tag punch. You can save 15% by getting this in a bundle. I'm going to take some dimensionals. This, these are the edges of the dimensionals. And yes, I always show you guys, I try to keep it real. My first image wasn't as clear as and intense as what I wanted, and so I simply flipped the cardstock over and re-stamped it. And then, you know, find a little spot on your treat holder and put down the sentiment. So I hope you enjoy making these cute little gift bags. Um, as you saw, they went together very quickly and a way that you can use your cello bags with a quick treat holder around it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.